The Honourable Member for Dartmouth North. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Business. We now know that in 2017, Canada became the top filming location in the world, but Nova Scotia hasn't benefited from that. In fact, we've had the opposite story. That's a re direct result of this government's decision to replace the employment-based film tax credit with an equally expensive but much less effective incentive program. The minister has indicated he is willing to try and help dig the industry out of the hole his government has put us in. Uh, there is one important change that the industry says can help make our incentive program competitive again, and that is increasing the base incentive rate. So my question for the minister is, when can we expect to see the base rate for our incentive program increased? The minister of Business. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I, I thank the member for the question. Uh, based on uh, our conversations uh, with many members of the industry, uh, I haven't uh, certainly heard that what's happening now is much less effective, uh, and I certainly uh, I haven't heard that uh, that the that the industry is is falling apart the way that the member would suggest it is. Um, obviously, uh, we are making those investments. Uh, it, it seems to be that the film and, and Screen Nova Scotia and those in the, in the film industry and the production industry uh, are uh, working hard to make sure that Nova Scotia is uh, very much relevant uh, in the Canadian uh, film and screen market. I think they're doing a great job. We are working on a number of the of the of the options to to put on the table. And Mr. Speaker, uh, as we get into the budget season, I'll certainly talk to Mike Volpe and Screen Nova Scotia to look at what comes next for the film industry. Thanks. The Honourable Member for Dartmouth North. With respect, I hope the minister does consult with uh, people other than Screen Nova Scotia. Uh, there is a lot of people who have moved out of this province because they cannot work any longer in the film industry here. Well, Nova Scotia's film job numbers have dropped in the last three years, Northern Ontario is experiencing a film job boom. It's not because that region can offer more beautiful sc scenery than Nova Scotia or has a more established talent or infrastructure. It's because they have an incentive program that works and Nova Scotia doesn't anymore. Film and TV networks are making permanent investments in Ontario. CBS has just announced a new studio that will have six sound stages. Nova Scotia doesn't have, any, uh, have a one. Mr. Speaker, industry has been clear that a sound Soundstage is part of what it needs to recover from the damage done by this government. So, will the minister tell us when we can expect to see a soundstage in Nova Scotia? The Honourable Minister of Business. Uh, again, Mr. Speaker, uh, by way of the access, by way of the investment, investment in, in, in our fund for film and screen Nova Scotia, um, we're not seeing that there's some kind of devastation in the industry, Mr. Speaker. It, to me, it's, it's very much vibrant. Well, Mr. Speaker, obviously, it's, it's an easy, easy talking point to say that we've destroyed the industry. The numbers show very much the contrary, Mr. Speaker. We, Order, we have, we have, please. The Honourable Minister of Business has the floor. Mr. Speaker, despite what happens in the conversations around screen here in, in this chamber, we have a very positive relationship with Screen Nova Scotia and the Order, industry. please. The Honourable Member for Truro, Bible Hill, Millbrook, Salmon River will excuse herself for the balance of question period. The Honourable Minister of Business. Order, please. Order, please. The Honourable Minister of Business. Despite, Mr. Speaker, the antics that we see sometimes uh, with respect to film and screen, they are, we are talking about infrastructure. We are talking about the investments. We are talking about uh, what we can do outside of the incentive fund to build and help grow that industry as they're doing on their own, as, as their own participants in this industry. They're doing a fantastic job, Mr. Speaker. We're going to be there to help them. Thanks.